good friends we are back for more SPL got you versus dice this is nice and 6 a.m. here I don't know why I'm still awake let's just rewatch the first three turns that we missed we see Gluscolate as dice is like a bulky offense type of team of balance they're basically both of the same type of team like fat core with a few offensive mons but just like the offensive mon on your side would be the Lari and the Exca probably and on Dice's side it would be Hydreigon that gets Focus Blast so he's switching to uh, Reuniclus on a Toxic which was a really nice play because it has Magic Guard and doesn't care and it might be a Specs Hydreigon that just blows the landers away with the Draco Meteor turn 4 I mean he didn't have a good switch in for that so I guess he had to second decide what he wants to fought off unless he wants he could have gone Heatron or Draco but in case Dark Pulse came out he would have gone blown away so we see that this move probably is with Death Trend, as we see it go for Toxic on the Slope King. Also get up Rocks on turn that Hydreigon switched out Sloping's Sloping Skull also the zero, so it's a protect Toxic Heatran and we see um Dice predict Heatran to switch out here because Glisco showed off quick. He knows the Reuniclus can wall his Glisco makes a nice double into Hydreigon. And he can fire off a Dark Pulse because you has no switches for that. So this is gonna be a quick game, he's just gonna get another kill here basically, like he can would get to it KO'd here. I assume. Rolom gets to it KO'd, he basically has to pick a fodder here. I, th I don't know why he's going for Draco Meteor. Oh I forgot, my bad, my bad guys, my bad. Uh he turn resists I think he turn resists dark in Is that how it works? Did he resist dark in Gen 5? Or does it only resist ghost? Oh god, this is embarrassing. Why do I not notice? I will look it up after. But god, this is embarrassing. So it probably probably still resists dark and ghost in Gen 5. So otherwise, I don't see a reason why you would go for Draco Media over Dark Pulse. Unless still resists dark. So we see the road on go for Pump again. In case Dice wants to stay in with his heat turn. So we're just gonna see a Volt Switch here on Sloking and Sloking's gonna go for Slag over Scald. Yeah. This Vinix is kinda wins now that he let the Hydreigon Dragon die. How did he let the Hydreigon Dragon die again? To allow a plume from a heat trend. Like he had one more switch into rocks and he missed the Drake on the trend. Doubles out into um Rodan predicting discounter, you can just Volt Switch here. Nice plays by Eo. I guess he has to get rid of the Tita first before he can win with the three Uniclaws. But yeah, if he gets rid of the Tita, Uniclaws basically wins if it gets up a Calm Mind. Black, white, um, dark versus steel. Resist. Let me just. So what is he gonna vote for? Into he can go into Ladios and fire over Draco, but there's a Tita in the back. But Rigna and Tita would be nice. He can also go into the Uniclus and try to predict the Tita by going for Focus Blast if he has that, or by doubling out into something that beats Tita, like maybe Excadrill. I guess I should just ask. Um, does Steel resist dark gen 5. So he decides to bring out the Uniclus, and I'm pretty sure he's just gonna double out here. Because the cheetah in the back, like if he doesn't have focus burst, I think he has to double. Oh, he shot focus burst already. <laughs> but yeah, he's doubling out into Rodon, predicting, I guess he's Gamry. Oh, uh, what did he predict? Yeah, nice play. So he's free to vault switch again. I mean the Hydreigon is already dead so there's no point. I don't have to find out now. But I'm... They're just the way Dice played this I feel like... Still resist Dark because otherwise there was no reason not to click Dark Pulse. So Voltage on the Sloking does nice 39% so can eat that for lunch. I mean... You can go into Exit Drill here and predict them to go into Skarmory or Glisco and you can Rapid Spin. You can also go to Latios but... 
There's a potential of getting trapped by Titera. So I'm not too sure what he wants to do here. He can also go back into Uniclose. As we see... The resistance is here, but yeah. So he decides to go into Uniclose. Let's just... <laughs> I'm gonna look the resistances up after. This is some that I don't know that I don't know that. Like... Like I know Jirachi is neutral to Ghost, so pretty so so still resist Ghost in Gen 4, but I'm not sure about Dark. Ooh, really godly play by Eo Dagger and Fox Plus. That's a spit death trend. Launching that up. So he just comments again. Um Yes he runs the roar. This was a set I ran in early X and Y when I first played competitive month. Stealth Rock put No, I didn't have Raw on this. I ran like Stealth Rock Raw. I have protect slash raw, but he has protect and raw. I run stealth for protect slash raw toxic and lava plume. So these heatrans cannot touch each other. Does he go with woven it or raw into exca drill and he can just uh, oh god he makes an aggressive play there, okay. I feel like he's gonna rapid spin again because the switch out is kinda obvious. Yeah, nice play by you. So he just went for protect that he got some leftovers, which makes sense. He actually he didn't want to actually risk his heat and dying like some people do on the audio ladder. <laughs> or just in, yeah on the ladder. So that looks to be a spidef ish scam, at least mixed defensive, I don't know. Yeah, probably spidef. Because the wall switch didn't do much. Like I know Rotom is probably defensive, not invest in special attack, but still. Scam is Pretty bad spidef, so 61 is not that much damage considering Skarm is bad spidef, so it has to be some sort of spidef Skarm. I mean, you can go in a Heatran, you can go in Uniclose even, because you don't want to take hazards on Heatran potentially. Um, Larios, if you have T Bolt, maybe, but I feel like. I guess Uniclose is a bit annoying, because. I feel, I feel like going into Heatran here is a fine play, but you kind of get walled by the opposing Heatran, but yeah, he decides to make the Heatran plays, the Skarmory just goes for a roost. <laughs> two Spadef Rodgeman fighting each other in 2017, what a time to be alive. Did we see Dragon Sloking? Because he said Dragon Sloking is pretty cool. We see another double into Rotom, knowing that the Heatran walls use Heatran, which is a nice play. Pretty sure we're just gonna see a Hydro Pump. Actually, he wastes the Hydro Pump down to protect. So he only, has, he only has five left. So not sure if he's gonna Hydro again or if he wants to Vault. As he makes the aggressive Vault play, which doesn't work out here. Heatran is probably just gonna go for a Roar. Okay, just gets rocks up, which, which makes more sense. Just forget what I said. Getting a Brox makes a lot of sense because he's like Hazard stacking you. There's no way you go hard Excadrill on a potential Lava Plume anyways. Nice comment play there, I don't know why I just prote protected there. So I assume we're gonna see, he's gonna predict the Fox Blast here, but he just comments again. Um, So he's either gonna taunt or just Go for chip damage with Earthquake. Oh, he's gonna try to bring the t down on a Psy Shock or Calm Mind. If he's banned, he can just blow this Reuniclus away. Um, we don't know this item, so this Reuniclus could be Cobra Berry. The item is not revealed yet. It's Psy Shock does absolutely nothing. Okay, never mind, the item is revealed, it's leftovers. Didn't we just see that now, or did we see that earlier? So, since it's not Cobra Berry, the Tita, you have to fear the Tita coming in on a Psy Shock. So he kind of has to go for Focus Blast on the perf on the right. If he goes for Focus Blast on the right turn, he was in the perfect position. But I'm not sure if Dice wants to risk this going hard into Tita. He can also just sack something. Um, I guess just comment spamming is fine. Um, Dice just makes it play hard into Tita now, which is a bit risky. But he was gonna do it eventually. And you're just gonna. I think he's just gonna crunch it because you don't play around with the Unicus at plus three. And it has three car mines up. There's no way to just go for pursuit here. I mean if you go for pursuit and yeah, okay that crit sucks if it mattered. Like if he's if he's not bad, I'm pretty sure that matters. I 
feel like Scarf trying to make some sense on, on his team because he's like kind of slow so far since the Hadrian seems to be specs. Yeah, if it's Bandit Crit doesn't matter, but I'm not sure he was banned. <laughs> well, that Reunix has just died, the potential win condition. Not the potential win condition, but Nucleus kind of just won. Besides the Tita, like if the Tita wasn't there. Last one Nucleus won because it couldn't get roared out by Tran. As he's missing Hydro Pumps, he's, I don't know if he's Hydro Pumping, as he's trying to predict the Glisco that wants to come in on potential Voltage as Dice gets a Skull Burn. I feel like Dice is obviously in a better position now that he killed the Reuniclus, which was a huge threat to his team. Then we're over there at turn 42, it doesn't even feel that long because they've been playing kind of fast. So now he makes the Glisco play and you predict him correct. But he dodges again, which sucks a lot for you. Like, his Glisco seems to be fifth death because he was taking the plus two side shock earlier from Runicus pretty, pretty well. So, this I don't know if this would have Oko, but this would have done a ton. I think this might have been Oko if, if he doesn't have any speed death. Yeah, like, it just happens every few games in SPL. The hex strikes. I think Aim got hexed again yesterday. Like, does he even have a chance of winning now? I don't think. He goes hard drill. What is the set? Is it taunt? So, Excat rewards this Glisco. So, he gets off a free rapid spin here. I mean, Skarmory can lay him up again, but rapid spin has more PP. The thing is, this doesn't have leftovers, so the drill is gonna get chipped if the Skarmory has like Brave Bird or anything. Leftovers are actually uh, balloon is kind of nice on drill though, because even though spikes were up, he didn't take spikes. He only took rocks, which he's resistant to. So um, dice knows his turn was. His turn so it just goes out into that. Ah uh, yeah, this turn doesn't have rock. Okay, only the one turn has rock. Rodon comes back again, but Rodon is getting chipped by the sand and burn, and he only has 100 pump left. So he's gonna vote so she predict him to protect or paint spit. Okay. And I feel like. Dice might go to slow king here, predicting him to go for hydro pump. Okay, he she just stays in. He probably maybe he could have even taken a hydro pump if he's mixed with that, I'm not sure. I think mixed with the trend takes like 50 55 from hydro pump. I don't remember which health he was at exactly. So yeah, this ending is gonna be a bit long and annoying, but then this hex just sucked. So Rodon dies to the Heatron getting a double protect. Good god, Dice is so lucky. What the fuck? What is this game like? Yeah, it sucks. Jesus. Double protect, Tidal Pump, Dodge, and Crit. Like, I don't know if the Crit matter, but I think it did. Just from what he said in the chat earlier, he said um, this. <laughs> Tech, what can you do now? He can go into. Excadrill, but he just loses to. Like, if his balloon on the drill gets popped, he just loses to the Glisco, kind of. And, like, the Ladi put beat the Glisco, but the Ladi loses to the combination of uh, the other ones. Like, Dice has so many checks to Ladi. He has a Tyranitide full. Like, not at full, but at um, 64 after Rocks. He has a Slow King, which can take one hit. He has Bedev Skarmory, which also kind of was if it doesn't have T-Bold. So we see Surf on the Lari. So, if it's not 
This could be Scarf or Specs or Lottie. I feel like it's Choice Locked. I don't think it can kill the Tita though. Tita probably wants enough bulk to lift this. Even if it's Specs Lottie. Or maybe it doesn't even need bulk. I don't know the Kalk. Yeah, my eyes are starting to hurt. I hope this game ends soon. I didn't catch. I gotta get some rest. Good God. Like, I guess Dice can switch out if he really wants to. If he, I guess he's probably Kalking. Okay, it's Scarf Cheetah. Never mind. Never mind. I thought he. So the crit on the Reunicus mattered. Yeah. As expected. So it's probably Specs Lardy then. Or some, some other set, but as Specs makes sense. <laughs> Scarf died in 2017 in black and white. Yeah, Reunicus probably won this match without the crit. Wait, did he also miss a Focus Blast earlier? If he gets a burn, there's some justice, but he doesn't even get the burn. I mean, he wouldn't have a chance to win at this point. But it was some. there would be some justice at least. He hit a Dragon with a Focus Blast. No, he hit his Focus Blast. But yeah, I guess he had to. I guess he still had to hit a focus burst with the Tita, even if the crunch didn't crit. So he could still could have missed that, as the extra draw cannot beat the combination of monsters that dice has left. As he goes up for SD, um, actually, this this still a sandrush is banned. If sandrush wasn't banned, this could still win. But scarf Tarts beats it. Wait, can he actually win this? What the flip? I guess he needs a flinchy or something. I don't know if he's out of range from Crunch from Tita. Okay, now he's in range and definitely. He gets the flinch there, yeah, sets up the plus six. But I don't know if he can kill the Scarfter. Wait, what the fuck? Is it Sandrush? I thought Sandrush was banned in Gen 5. I'm so confused right now. Does he actually did he actually win this game? How did he he gets another double protect, good god. I mean he was he got flinched by the by the iron head. Wait, so <laughs> Jesus loves me more. So Sandrush is allowed, I thought Sandrush was banned. I'm so confused, can somebody help me? Shouldn't have that extra come in, X will come in on Lusco. Yeah, that was a free setup opportunity. I thought a teacher out speeds and revenge is this, but. What the fuck? I thought Sandwich was banned. Sandwich. He must have been Sandwich. The teacher out sped the Ladio, so. The runners are used. Crit the Uniclus and that's about the Ladia, so unless the Ladia didn't have speed. Tita has to be scarfed out speed. Um Yeah, we see here Um Generation two to five if I read this correct. Steel resists ice normal. No, 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 no. It resists ghost and resists dark. So, this is the important information here. It resists dark. This is all what I wanted to know. I wasn't sure earlier. Damn, Steel has so many resistances. I mean, now it doesn't resist dark and ghost anymore, but it resists fairy. So, that's a new tab that was added in Gen 6. But I'm really not sure about the sandwich. I guess sandwich drill is not banned. Sandwich drill. Black, white. We will Google this now. <laughs> very professional, very professional. I'm pr I was pretty sure, like, someone told me that Sandwich Drill was banned when I said in my video, when I wasn't sure in another black and white video.
Maybe they played black and white one and was banned in black and white two. Let me just check the SPL thread. I don't think I can find a solution for this because I can also not pause it on this uh, on OBS and um. I mean, I could technically make a new recording and cut it together, but eh. 7 a.m. in the morning here, I'd rather get this done now. Um. So that was for. Actually, I'm on the wrong week. I'm the wrong week of SPL. I'm on week 8, let me click on week 9. Um, I assume this was for SPL because that's that mod chat said and the chat was watching the game. Yeah, EO versus dies. So the classes won again versus the sharks. The classes can make playoffs. I think the sharks can still make playoffs. It just says black and white. It doesn't say black and white too. But I think it always says that in all DPP, in all black and white games. Yeah, just leave comments down below. You guys will know when Sandrush X was banned and when it wasn't banned. Um. Yeah, I don't think I can get the solu I can get a solution here. Like I'm just stuck. I never played black and white. I should know this, but I don't know it. Like I knew it was banned at some point. I think Sandwich was banned at some point. Super confused. Just give info just give me information please in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I mean besides than that, I feel like my commentary was fine besides that in my opinion. And also besides that that I didn't know the Hadragon, that ghost that still resists dark. But I had I had an idea that it probably resists dark because that was the only reason he didn't click Dark Pulse earlier. That's the reason to only reason to Draco. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you with a lot more SPL. I mean you will probably upload this at the end of the week because I upload the Sun Moon and the Auras games probably before this. And maybe some Ubers games we will see. I'm like, which I'm signing out. I stayed up. It's actually 6 57 in the morning now. Good god, I gotta get some rest. My pet was playing like 6 hours for OST. I'm probably gonna miss that. Um, yeah, peace out, friends. <laughs> Good god. Um, I found out why he was able to use Sandwash Extrudel. So, I know I already made an outro for my video, but I just wanna tell you guys this so you don't <laughs> have to comment about this. I guess some people will probably comment about it anyways. Since Dream plus Sandrush. Using both a Pokemon with Sandstream and Pokemon with Sandrush on the same team is banned. But um EU didn't have a sand setter, he just had a Sandrush Excadrill, and his opponent set the sand for him, so apparently that is allowed. I don't know, uh, someone sent this to me on Skype I asked. So I don't have a source where I got this from. I hope this should be correct though. Um yeah, thank you guys for watching. I just want to let you know that. I will edit this in at the end of the video. <laughs> Peace out friends.